Oh, uh, it sure was nice of you to invite us out on your yacht, Mr. Pewterschmidt. It's not a boat, it's a yacht. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said it was a boat. Lois, are you feeling all right? Uh, just a little seasick, that's all. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, Brian's eating it. Boy, that's a lot of puke, Lois. I ain't seen that much puke since my bachelor party. Your what? My bachelor party. What's that? You don't know what a bachelor party is? No. When you got married, didn't you have, like, a bachelor party with all your friends? My what? Oh, my God. Well, we are gonna fix that. Carter, I am gonna throw you the best bachelor party ever. Why would you do that? Because I'm your pal, and I want to help, like Cheeseburger Helper. Hey there, Peter. How would you like to take a half a pound of hamburger and make a delicious meal for the whole family? Sure. Okay, then let's... Hold on there, Peter. I've got something even better. Oh, really? You bet. How would you like to take a half pound of hamburger and make a delicious meal for the whole family with cheese? What? what? I, I don't... I, I, I could just take cheese and put it on the thing he's doing. No! It won't be the same! Brother, he didn't get enough oxygen at birth. He's never gonna be quite in step with the rest of us, and this is sort of my way of taking care of him. Well, that's nice of you, but it was so much simpler when it was just you and me doing our thing. I know, but just let him have this one. Odds are he won't even come back with the actual food. Okay, cheeseburger helper, you're on! Yay! Cheese, cheese, cheese! Yay! I'm so sorry for your burden. You're a good brother. Or what I'm supposed to do with myself. I'm very uncomfortable. Why don't you get a lap dance, Mr. Pewterschmidt? No, Peter's crippled friend. I think I'm just gonna leave. This was a stupid idea. Oh, come on. You just gotta relax and cut loose, like those foreign guys over there. Oh, I can't believe I'm back at the horse. I had many drinks last night, and I was so hung out this morning. Ah, oh, me too, friend. I was blowing chinks like crazy. Boy, this is fun, eh? Except for the fact we gotta sit next to that woman who came with her co-workers. Oh my god, what's happening to him? I'm having a heart attack! Ack, 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 ack. You ought to know by now! Oh my god, is my father gonna be okay, Dr. House? He's in a coma, Mrs. Griffin. Listening to the sound of your voice, I'd say he's the lucky one. Dear, I do hope there's something to be done. Dr. House, if you're gonna save this patient, you'll need this. Get this thing out of my sight! <laughs> Oh, wait a second, how are you gonna play by the rules if you don't have the rule but Oh... My methods are a little unorthodox, Mr. Griffin. But I think I can help. What are you doing? My job. Sometimes people fake being in a coma. This man's not. Unless, of course, the first punch knocked him out. In which case, we won't know for some time. Any word on Carter's condition yet? No, it's been three days, and I'm really starting to get worried. He's in a coma for like 20 years, and he comes out of the coma, and you guys are all dead, but I'm still alive, and I'm a famous race car driver, and he's like, oh, man, Stewie turned out awesome. And he comes to one of my races, and I'm so surprised to see him there, I crash, and then I'm in a coma for 20 years, and I wake up, and he's a race car driver. Stewie, do you want to be a race car driver when you grow up? Well, gosh, if you think I'd be good at it. Hello, Mrs. Griffin. I'm Kenneth Gould, Mr. Pewterschmidt's attorney. I'd like to talk to you about a few things. As part of Mr. Pewterschmidt's estate planning, he has left video wills applicable to a wide variety of situations. Hello. If you're watching this, it means they didn't cut the rope when I climaxed. As a result, I'm now dead. That's not it. If you're watching this one, it means the train wasn't able to push the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour, and I'm still stuck in 1885. Had a heart attack and have slipped into a coma. Here we go. In that case, I leave control of my company, Pewter Schmidt Industries, to my daughter, Lois. What? I don't know the first thing about running a billion-dollar company. The board of directors is fully prepared to run the company in Carter's absence, if that's what you'd prefer, Mrs. Griffin. Well, yes, I think that'd be best. Now, wait a second, Lois. I could run the company. You? You can't run a business that size. You have no experience. You know what that is, Lois? That's you playing by the rule book. And I don't play by the rule book. Right, Dr. House? Well, don't ask me. My superiors think I'm crazy. <laughs> Scared you, didn't they? House. House. And I'm gonna run the company. Well, Lois, I'm off to my first day as a corporate bigwig. I'm not so sure about this, Peter. I mean, that's Daddy's company. He spent his whole life building it from the ground up. And you don't know anything about running a big business. Whoa, whoa, thanks for the vote of confidence. Jeez, you're a bigger downer than a German bedtime story. All right, stand aside. I'll take it from here. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Peter Griffin. I will be running the company from hence here forth. Now, I want you all to lay some business talk on me. I need ideas. What can we do to make this quarter more quarterly? Come on, come on.
Now, I'm gonna toss a ball to one of you, and whoever catches it, throw out the first idea you got, and then pass the ball to the next guy, and he throws out an idea, and so on. Everybody clear? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, Abrams, what do you got? My lung's collapsing! You know what I'm hearing, gentlemen? <gasps> what? Yeah, now that I've got your attention, you're all fired. Peter, what the hell is going on? You fired everybody at Daddy's company? You bet. Are you out of your mind? Keep it up, Lois, I might fire you. You wouldn't. Does the name Lacey Chabert mean anything to you? Okay, I'll behave. Yes, you will. Ooh, Peter, your muscles are so muscly. I am gonna plow you so gross later. For a team of executives I can trust. Brian, Quagmire, Mort, you are gonna be my creative team. You are gonna help me lead this company into the future. Peter, we don't know anything more than you do about running a company. Hey, where's Joe? Yeah, I think he's still outside. Failing in the new fiscal year. The African-American Heart Monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he did. Jeremy Irons Cereal. If you're looking for marshmallows, there are none. Mr. Quagmire, the Davidson account is waiting for you in the conference room. All right, thanks, Marlene. Tell him I'll be right in. All right, Glenn, time to go make millions. What happened to you, man? I grew up, that's what happened. What happened to the free-loving Quagmire who was banging ten chicks at a time? I still do that. Oh, good. Yep. Can I have some money? Oh, get out of here, you bum. Yeah, all right. You're awake. Oh, Carter, I'm so relieved. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Oh, you had a heart attack, Daddy, but you're all right now. Yeah, he cool. What the hell is that? Oh, it's an African-American heart monitor made by your company. What? Yes, it has two settings, Barry White and Bill Cosby. Beep, beep, boop, beep. My company makes no such thing. Well, you see, Daddy, when you were in a coma, Peter stepped in and took charge of Pewdishman Industries. Zippity zoopity geepity boppity zoopity zickity zackity boopity boppity ghost dab. Lois, how could you let your idiot husband take over my company? He fired all my staff, his stupid ideas are bankrupting Pewterschmidt Industries, and now he won't step down! I know, Daddy. He's become so full of himself. He's more annoying than when he's making his Christmas list. Peter, this has gone on long enough. I want you to make things right with Daddy. It's his company. It's my company. It's your company. Three's company. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his. What? I'm sorry, Lois. We all had some pot brownies on the plane. You know something? You're not qualified to sit in that chair. Oh, aren't I? Ah! Ah! Maybe there's a rabbit head under here. I knew I didn't like the sound of that laugh. Peter, this is unacceptable. What gives you the right to treat me like this? You've been treating me like crap for 20 years, Mr. Pewterschmidt, and now I'm the one in charge. <laughs> Clean that up. As your boss, I command you to have a viewing party for tonight's episode of The Big Bang Theory. And you have to go cubicle to cubicle inviting people. Oh, come on, Peter. I'm not, I'm not good with rejection. I'm your boss. Now do it. And wondered if you wanted to come over and watch. What? What? What is that? It's a comedy. It's on CBS. I'm really into it. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch it with you. All right, if you change your mind, here's a flyer. If you do decide to come, I'm just asking that you bring an appetizer. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I'm ordering you to pay a compliment to this sharply dressed Asian man. You look very nice. What else? Uh... What about my shoe? They're nice, too. How you think my house smell? Not oniony. You good, man. I pat you on the head and feed you from the hand. Lois, what are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Of course it's okay. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, you know, that whole swamp monster story. Swamp monster? Uh, you haven't heard? Heard what? Oh, I, I'm sure it's nothing. It's just apparently somebody flushed a baby swamp monster down the toilet somewhere not far from here. What? Oh, oh crap. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, swamp monster! Oh, oh, oh. Quick, Peter, sign this legal document giving the company back to Daddy so you won't get eaten. Oh, I don't understand. Did it, Daddy. I have my husband back and you have your company. Wait, if you're Daddy, then who? <laughs> You want to come to my Big Bang viewing party next week? Daddy, you don't have to do that anymore. I know, I know. I, I, I like it now. Well, maybe so. But I sure am going to miss being a corporate big shot. Well, you'll always be a big shot in this family, sweetheart. Thanks, honey. And I got a little surprise for you. In that contract you signed, you got to keep the corporate plane. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> <laughs>